It was recently announced that Panasonic will begin test production of 4680 battery cells for Tesla. Now, intriguingly, a lot of people are claiming that Tesla's cells being manufactured by Panasonic will not be exclusive to Tesla and that Panasonic will likely sell these batteries to other companies. Now, the reason for this is because of a quote from a Panasonic executive saying they're going to prioritize Tesla, therefore meaning that they could potentially supply other companies with 4680 battery cells. So will this happen? Well, I'm going to tell you why it won't. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Great to have you here on the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you too. Welcome back to everyone else. Now, Panasonic said Tesla will be its top priority when it's ready to begin delivering 4680 cells. This does make it look like Panasonic is saying that it will have other priorities. Tesla will be at the top and then there'll be other companies that they will supply 4680 cells to. Is this correct or is this misleading? Well, first, during Tesla's recent 2021 earnings call, Musk said the automaker is already producing Model Y crossovers with 4680 battery cells. By the way, those cells don't come from Panasonic. I'm seeing these comments everywhere. The comment sections on these articles are saying, oh, I told you Tesla's not making batteries. I told you it's Panasonic making them. Tesla's not doing it. Guys, please educate your friends, educate everyone. Tesla is manufacturing the cells at their Cato Road facility. Panasonic is not currently manufacturing anything beyond test production of 4680 cells. So all the cells in Tesla Model Ys right now, they are made by Tesla, not by Panasonic. Now Tesla has placed a huge order for 4680 cells with Panasonic and they plan test production or Panasonic plan test production and prioritizing the EV maker when it comes to manufacturing these cells. But that I think is an extremely misleading comment. And I'm gonna tell you why it's actually not just misleading, but just totally bogus. Now there's been many indications that Tesla may not be ready to produce vehicles with its new structural battery packs and 4680 cells for quite a while. However, Elon Musk said during the earnings call that the Model Y crossovers built at Gigafactory in Texas will have both the structural pack and the 4680 cell. So naysayers, sorry, you're wrong. And I reported on this, I think probably a month ago, that the cars in the Gigafactory at Texas already had 4680 cells in them. So in Texas, he said, we're building the Model Ys with the structural battery pack and the 4680 cells. Now don't forget Gigacastings as well. And we'll start delivering after final certification of the vehicle, which should be fairly soon. Now, Senior Vice President of Powertrain and Energy Engineering, Drew Baglino, said that Tesla has been producing 4680 cells and structural battery packs on a daily basis now for a number of months. He also said he's been personally driving a new Model Y with 4680 cells in the pack, and he's confident that Tesla will be delivering these vehicles potentially by the end of this month, but definitely by the end of the first quarter. So at the very least, before the end of March. From what we're hearing, Tesla has enough of its own in-house 4680 cells to begin and sustain production. However, with the demand for its vehicles, along with plans to eventually bring Cybertruck to market, it's going to need a huge influx of these cells to make enough cars to satisfy the crazy demand that Tesla has right now, which is kind of surprising considering the fact that their vehicles don't qualify for the federal tax credit, meaning they have a $7,000 7,000 US dollar disadvantage. Obviously, Panasonic has already made it public that it's working on 4680 cells. We all already know that. In addition, Panasonic has announced it will supply Tesla with the cells starting next year. So not this year, next year. Now, this is the quote from Panasonic's CFO, Hirozaku Umeda. He said, Tesla has put in an extremely strong request for the 4680 cells. So when we are able to deliver the 4680, we plan to make top priority on Tesla. We'll first prioritize supplying Tesla once the verifications are complete. This quote is what has led many people to ask, will Panasonic therefore be making 4680 cells for other companies? Because it does sound that way when you read that quote. However, we should point out the fact that Tesla filed a patent to improve the chemistry of energy storage devices, which was in particular for 4680 cells. So Tesla has a patent on the chemistry being used in the cell, plus 
the way they actually make the cathode and the anode. This patent was for difluorophosphate additive compounds and methods thereof for use in energy storage devices, which refers to improving battery chemistry in energy storage devices, which applies to its 4680 cells. The aim of the invention is to develop an electrolyte that will improve the performance of batteries or reducing their cost. In this patent, Tesla explains that some lithium ion electrolyte solutions include one or more chemical additives. Electrolyte additives are introduced into the electrolyte solution on the order of just a few weight percent and may affect the lifetime safety and performance of a cell. Some classes of electrolyte additives include cyclic carbonates, organic sulfates, and and sulfonates. Another class of additives is lithium salts, including lithium difluorophosphate, LEO. There's a whole lot more technical jargon and information in the paint, but I won't go into that because that's going to bore you to death. However, I will share this with you. Back on November the 5th, Tesla confirmed that they acquired a battery startup in a patent. Why did they do this? First of all, who was the battery startup? Well, the name of the company was Colorado-based startup Cyleon Inc. This was disclosed in a new patent for a silicon-based battery anode. Over the past few years, Tesla has been rumored to have acquired this company, who are based out of Colorado. The rumor started after a few of the startup's employees were hired by and Tesla started listing battery research jobs in Colorado, where it previously didn't have any R&D operations. So it People connected the dots and worked out what was actually going on. Now, the startup was working on a new high energy density battery chemistry based on high loaded silicon anodes. It described on its website that it has since been shut down. Developer of an advanced lithium iron battery designed to address the, the market's accelerated demand for higher performance energy storage devices. The company's technology delivers high energy batteries by simultaneously incorporating high loaded silicon anodes, nickel rich NMC cathodes, and a non-flammable ionic liquid electrolyte, and offer an increase in both energy density and specific energy in lithium ion batteries, enabling users to get safer and lower cost energy storage devices for defense, consumer electronics, and electric vehicle applications. I don't know why, but in this industry, some of these engineers, they haven't, they clearly haven't done a lot of work with writing correctly, some of their sentences are so long that it feels like you run out of breath by the time you finish them. Anyway, moving on from that. The startup received several grants from the US Department of Defense and US Department of Energy before going dark in 2018, at which point it appears as though they started working for Tesla. One of Cyleon's most important patents called large format battery anodes comprising silicon particles is now listed as Tesla's. This is the kind of information, these are the kind of patents that Tesla have for the 4680 cell. So sure, Panasonic could go and say, yes, okay, Ford, we'll make 4680 battery cells for you, but we can't use the chemistry. We can't use these, the ways that we're making this battery for Tesla for you. So you'll have to basically redesign the whole thing from this to the ground up. We have to use your chemistry, whatever chemistry you use, whatever cathode and anode you use. So the reality is, is it likely that's going to happen? No, it's extremely unlikely companies are going to do that. Now remember, 4680 cells are not really intended as a mass, mass, mass production product. Realistically, even Elon himself has confirmed the battery chemistry of the future for the majority of Tesla's cars will not be NMC or, or NCA chemistry batteries. It will be lithium ion phosphate. That is the key reason why CATL are building a factory next to Tesla's factory to build batteries, which will be lithium ion phosphate batteries. The costs are much lower. The majority of cars being sold over the next five years will actually end up being lithium ion phosphate batteries, which won't probably won't use 4680 cells, or they may use those cells, but they will use lithium ion phosphate chemistry. Now, remember, I made a video recently talking about the contract Tesla signed with Goshan High Tech in China to supply Tesla with 200 gigawatt hours of, of lithium ion phosphate batteries per year in the United States for their vehicles. That is millions of cars per year. So you can see here that 4680 battery cells are not really intended for the majority of Tesla's production, or maybe they're intended for certain vehicles, could be the Cybertruck and the Semi and their higher 
more expensive models like the long range model and the performance model, but the average vehicles being sold by Tesla as in the standard range vehicles, which will be the big sellers for Tesla over the next few years, will come with LFP batteries. Now let me know in the comment section what you think. Is this a good strategy by Tesla to use LFP batteries and to use 4680 cells for their higher end models or their longer range models, the Cybertruck and the Semi? I personally think this strategy is makes a lot of sense and it's an extremely logical way to go about producing cars. And it appears to me as though companies like Mercedes and Volkswagen are now starting to copy this strategy that Tesla is deploying. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.